marriage value is applied to lease extension premiums when the remaining term of the lease falls below 80 years. In other words, any lease with 79 years remaining or fewer will be subject to marriage value in negotiations to extend the lease. It's worth knowing that a property with a short lease will always have a lower value than with a long lease because the owner has a shorter amount of time to occupy the property before ownership reverts back to the freeholder. As a direct result of extending the lease, the value of the property will increase and the freeholder is entitled to a proportion of this uplift. Calculating marriage value is not a straightforward process. In fact, there are several calculations that a valuer must consider in order to generate the marriage value premium. Such calculations will include the increase in property value after extending the lease, the value of the ground rent income, and the value of the reversion. Marriage value represents 50% of these combined values. Under Schedule 13, Part 2 of the Leasehold Reform Housing and Urban Development Act 1993, freeholders are entitled to 50% of the increase in potential profit gained from a lease extension when the lease had less than 80 years remaining. While the leaseholder could potentially benefit from this profit, say if they were to sell their property, the value of the freeholder's interest will be reduced as a direct result of granting the lease extension. Therefore, legislation requires that the profit be shared equally between both parties via the marriage value premium as compensation for the freeholder. Because marriage value and lease extension premiums are dependent on the value of a property, a professional valuation will be required. Leaseholders are responsible for paying for the valuation of their property and will be liable for the freeholder's professional valuation fee and legal costs. Lease extensions can therefore become quite costly, particularly when marriage value is included, so it's much more cost-effective for leaseholders to extend their leases when the remaining term is above 80 years in order to avoid paying marriage value. In fact, it's advisable to extend a lease as early as possible. Find out how much it would cost to extend your lease with an expert appraisal from Freehold Sale. We can also assist you with negotiations to help you agree a fair premium. For more expert guidance, please subscribe to this channel. And if you require assistance with any of the topics discussed, please visit our website to explore our range of services.